it was possible to achieve high working speeds. In addition, the stiff, dimensionally stable steel design of the wagon made for very high dimensional accuracy, and the steel plate form lining meant that the surface of the concrete could be made extremely smooth. Once one section of tunnel had been reinforced, the formwork wagon was released from the concreted arch in its previous position and moved to a new section. The movable formwork elements around the wagon were hydraulically adapted to suit the geometric dimensions of the internal diameter and carefully adjusted. Then the ends of the tunnel lining were boarded up with individual planks and the concreting of the arch could begin. Openings were left in the form lining for introducing and compacting the concrete. The team of workers became so practiced at all these operations that they could concrete 12 meters of tunnel a day. Once the tunnels had been lined throughout, the two outlet structures were completed and the tunnels were ready for use. For the diversion of the river, a coffer dam was erected across the Mahaweli between the inlet to the two tunnels and the site of the dam. The river rose by a few meters and for the first time started to wend its way through the diversion tunnels. After the river had been diverted, a second coffer dam was erected across the Mahaweli just upstream of the outlet to the tunnels. The water left between the two coffer dams was then pumped off. This meant that the riverbed was now dry over the entire area where the dam was to be constructed and work could now start on building the dam without being impeded by the river. The day for diverting the river had come. It was essential to ensure that the closing of the upstream coffer dam across the Mahaweli took place as quickly as possible as the river constantly washed away part of the fill as it passed through the narrowing gap. However, the gap was closed and the river was cut off. The water rose very quickly and soon reached the protective dam which had been erected in front of the intake structures for the diversion ceremony. This protective dam was now opened and for the first time the river started to wind its way through the mountain. The old riverbed was now empty for the length of the diversion and work could be started on the dam. <laughs> 